just you a video on how to make um, uh, mac, silicone mat for uh, making lace on top of soap. So that's the video today. There will be two videos because it was too much explanation. So the result we'll obtain is something like that, very uh, silicone -y. So you put that in the bottom of your mold and you can do a different size as you wish. And I do those uh, mats from place mat, plastic place mats like that, like those. They will be on my uh, shop online if you need some. They are not easy to find. And uh, so there will be two videos. The first one will be how to prepare those to cut them, to fit them in your mold, and uh, how to make the container so you put that in the bottom to pour your silicone. And the second one will be the mixing of the silicone and uh, the unmolding of the final product. This one. So today we start with the first one and it's uh, now. See you later. Okay, we are now going to make this uh, lace silicone mat for this mold here. What I will do first is to measure the size of the mold, the, the inside, inside, not the outside of the the mold, the inside, very important. This one is 11 and a quarter inch by 3 quarter inch this side. Okay? So in, in the past I had made this uh, container very easy to clean up because they can be used many times. This is the base where I will put my plastic uh, lace and pour the silicone. So this is the size of my mat and those, those sides will contain the silicone once I poured in. So I need to, the lace design now. I use lace plastic place mat like this one and I also have uh, this, this one here, this other one. And um, so when I made this mat I use that pattern there. Today I will use maybe uh, this part here, so I have to measure, cut. First, I will draw a line. So I work with an exacto, it's very easy. So I will cut away first the part I want and I will adjust it after. It will be easier this way. absolutely perfect. So to make sure that won't stick to the mold and the silicone won't leak under the mat, I will stick some tape on the back of the lace. This There's a side very smooth and the other one is kind of raised. So I just put it on the flat side. I cover it with tape. This is perfect. I will just cut the tape that exceeds. Okay, so I like this part and um, I check and it fits uh, very well in this mold. So now we will do, we will make this foam core mold. I did some mold in the past with uh, coroplast, that's a kind of corrugated plastic. It works fine too, but I find it easier to work with foam core. Foam core is uh, like a foam trap between two sheets of cardboard. And uh, it's easier to cut, I think. It's, for me, it's easier anyway. 
Okay, so I said I needed three and a quarter inch wide for my mold. And I also need to add sides to that mold. So here I have added one half inch of on each side. So if I add three quarter plus one half plus one half, that will be four and a quarter inch. So I will draw that on my cardboard. So here I have my uh, four and a quarter inch. So on the other side, I said I needed 11 and a quarter plus half an inch on each side. So that will be 12 and a quarter. So. So to make sure it is uh, very, very square, I use the, the lines on my uh, mat. So it won't. This is uh, very square. Good. I will now draw one half inch for the sides on each side. So now the idea is to cut without going through. Make a cut just to be able to fold the car the cardboard. Sorry. This way, I make sure it will not leak when I will pour the silicone in the mold. And then I cut away the corners. And all is left is to glue the corner with hot glue. So I glue it with, uh, I use my hot glue gun. My husband told me I could use silicone, but I'm so used to my glue gun, so I will stick with it. It sets uh, rapidly uh, with this glue gun, but I like to put a tape over it just to make sure uh, it will stay put. So I will do the same in all three corners and I, I can put more to make sure there won't be any leakage. Never too careful! Isn't that perfect? And look, it fits perfectly and uh, I did another mat. This is one and I did this one. So I have two. I will uh, prepare another mold and we'll go to phase two. I hope my uh, explanations are clear. And don't forget to like, comment and uh, share. Woo!